Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to do the subtractive uh, method of creating um, shapes in Onshape. So we'll just go ahead and just call this um, a widget, uh, which is just a general name for a shape. And this will open up a Onshape workspace. And just so you know, this is what we're going to be making. So if you look at this shape, um, we want to look at the largest dimensions if you were to make just like a solid rectangular prism. Um, so like the length here is five inches, the height maximum is 1.5, and then the width is three. So we're gonna just make that big um, rectangular prism and then we're gonna subtract um, all these spaces by doing extrude removes. And so, and we're gonna learn a little bit about constraints as well. So um, to start out, um, we need to first make our um, so go ahead and put in the isometric view and we just need to make a sketch and we'll make the sketch in the top plane and we're going to do a center point rectangle um, and then the length wise is going to go like um, across we're going to make that the five um, and then we will make the other one the three so that when we have it in the isometric view it looks like uh, this one so five and three. Um, so go ahead and press the check mark and then we will extrude and we'll extrude up 1.5 inches. And that looks good to me. <clears throat> okay, so if we go back to our um, picture, I'm gonna first remove this middle alley. Um, and if we look, um, it looks like the whole width is three inches and then this is 5, 0.5 and this is 0.5, which means this middle part is um, two and then it goes down halfway because uh, half of 1.5 is 0.75 so we're going to draw that uh, that box or that square in the middle there and so we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the right um, so we can see the right side of this shape and then we will do a sketch and we'll do a sketch on the plane um, the face of extrude one and we're going to do a corner rectangle instead of a, a center point rectangle and we will just start up here and then we'll um, define the dimensions now. So we know that this is gonna be two inches um, and then we know the height is gonna be, um, what did we say, 0.75. Uh, so there is the, um, the dimensions of the box that we're going to uh, remove. And then we need to use a dimensions tool to make sure that it is the correct um, distance away from the side. So we'll just say that that's going to be 0.5 and then that will center. We don't have to define over here because it's already defined over here. So go ahead and press the check mark. Um, and now we can extrude and then we're gonna press the remove button and then we're gonna click our shape and we want to remove it a depth of five inches. Um, so if you do the check mark, it removes it and we can go back to the isometric view to see that our shape looks pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to work on these. Um, it almost looks uh, like a camphor, but we're gonna go ahead and, and practice using our constraints um, to see how to do this. So um, one important thing to know is that this is a 30 degree angle and we're gonna use our constraints to make um, these equal and then we also know that it goes down 0.75, so we know that this line here intersects at the midpoint um, of this, of this, um, the height of that. So we'll go back over here, and we're going to look at the front view, and we are going to make a sketch on this plane, so the face of extrude one, and we're going to do a line. And the line, if you hover over here if along this line, the line uh, highlights yellow. But when you get to the midpoint of it, you'll see the little midpoint um, little symbol. So we're going to click there, and then we're going to go over here. And we don't know quite where to go, but we're going to define it. Um, go ahead and press Escape to get the sticky line away. And then we will press the Dimensions tool, and we're going to dimension from there to there. And we're going to say that that angle is 30 degrees. Um, so now we know that it is in the center point, and this angle is 30 degrees, and so we know that that's right. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and um, press escape and then we'll do another line and we'll do the line again from the center point over to here. <clears throat> and we could define it the same way that we did um, before, but we can also use something called um, constraints. And so if we use the equal constraint, 
you can make two things equal. So we can say that we want that to be equal to that, and then it will automatically um, change that for us. And then those two lines will always be the same. So we'll go ahead and press the check mark, and now we'll do extrude remove. Um, so we're going to remove uh, that space and that space, and it's going to go across three inches. So that looks great. All right, so now let's go ahead and put it back in the isometric view. Okay, so now we're going to go down here and remove these two little squares. Um, I'm going to remove it on the back side because I've already done a sketch on this front side and it tends to mess up. So these little um, rectangles here are uh, the dimensions are point two, uh, point six two five, and then the height is point two five. And I know that because this whole height is one point five, and then I'm subtracting point seven five, and then another point five, which just leaves me with point two five down here. Um, so coming over back to our widget, um, we are going to look at the back side. So go ahead and rotate to the back and we're going to make a sketch right here. Um, and the sketch, we're going to do a corner rectangle and starting here, we'll make our little corner. Um, and then that first dimension is 0 0.625, press return. And then that second dimension is 0.25, press return. Um, and then we can do another corner um, rectangle again 0.625 and 0.25 <clears throat> and then we have our two rectangles go ahead and press the check mark and now we're going to extrude remove that one and that one and we are going to go um, the total distance of the width which is three inches go ahead and press the check mark and now we have our shape so um, we're going to go back to the isometric view and it's looking really good. <clears throat> the last thing we have to do is this um, circle in the middle. So coming back here, we will look at the top and we're gonna do a sketch on this plane, the face of extrude two, and we're gonna do a center point circle and we'll reach out and it's one inch in diameter. Uh, so go ahead and press the check mark and then we're going to do an extrude remove um, and I don't know how deep it is, but we'll just be safe and say it's two inches. And that moves that beautiful. And we'll go back to the isometric shape and take off our planes. And we'll see that we have the same shape. It looks good. All right. So if you wanted to, we could, uh, this is part one. So we could change the color. Uh, I like to change the color, change things up a little bit. I'm going to change this color to a nice orange color that looks nice my beautiful widget okay so the last thing we're going to learn how to do or we're going to review is making a drawing from this and that's where we can put all the dimensions in so over here we're going to click the plus button and do um, create a drawing and from the drawing we just want to use the first one with no views and again, that's going to uh, bring in, you're going to select the part that you want, and it's going to bring in the front view first. And we're going to put that right here in the lower left hand corner. And then when you go straight over, it's going to bring in the right view. And then come back here, click once, and then go up for the top view. And then go back here and click once and come up here to the isometric view. And those are the views that we want, three uh, orthographic projections and one isometric view. Go ahead and press the escape button to get your um, cursor back and you can remember lower this and it'll bring this one down low too. And so now we want to just put in some dimensions. We want to make sure that all the dimensions are represented, but we don't want to be redundant and um, represent um, dimensions more than once. So we're going to use our dimension tool and we know that we can uh, get this part there it's uh, 3.75 by 3.75 great um, we also need the dimension from there to there which should be five um, so there's our five inches um, and then we also know that like from let's see we want to also do this circle or the diameter of the circle and we can do this interior part we can do this part and this part. Um, let's see what other parts. Uh, we need to show an angle. So if you go to the line to angular dimension, 
um, you can go from this line to that line and it does that really big angle but if you keep on rotating it'll come over to the 30 degrees um, so that looks good and let's see what else um, switching back over to our regular dimensions we can do this little uh, bit right here and uh, this bit here okay um, let's see am I missing anything okay I think that looks pretty good uh, if you wanted to you could do this angle it's kind of a weird one um, I don't know if I want to do that one okay so that looks good enough for me and then be sure you go into your nameplate and we'll call it the widget and then press plus sign and now you have your beautiful um, engineering drawing and then the last thing you would need to do is be to export it so where it says drawing one um, you can click shift oops not like that um, so you're going to do export and then you're going to export it we can call it on his widget and the format should be a PDF and then just export it and then you can have a nice PDF drawing um, of your engineering drawing. Let's look at it. It looks amazing. You could print that out, put it in your portfolio, and that is the subtractive method of um, doing a CAD drawing. So looks great, and uh, stay tuned for more.